Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to turn this uh, bunch of uh, modular meshes, the house made of these uh, modular meshes by Quixel, into uh, resizable buildings like one of these that can um, be easily resized in all dimensions. Uh, but first, we're going to teach you how to do just this. It can grow to uh, extreme sizes later on, by the way, just to show up. Like this 250 floors of 8 meters each. That's pretty tall building. Uh, so you got some uh, spare performance. Um, um, so, okay, we can delete this building so we don't get in the way. Uh, I, uh, these are uh, the modular parts are by Quixel Megascans. I down, downloaded them individually through their app called Bridge. I show you quickly. Uh, this is when you go to Bridge, it uh, wants to show you their collections. And in environment, urban, neoclassical modular building, you will find uh, the building parts for this tutorial. Um, that's it. This is not about how it works. Um, but we go back to on, on real project here and uh, so now I'm just going to select all of these not one by one I already put them in the folder so it's easier to select I just have to select the folder say select immediate children and I'm going to convert that into a blueprint convert selected components to blueprint class and I just put in mega scans and it gives you a weird name I'm just going to call neo blueprint create in my Megascans folder, I said create blueprint. And uh, we wait. That blueprint's created. And um, so you can see I already have one tutorial blueprint here for later uh, to speed up this video. So now that we've created our blueprint, it's interesting to see where its zero point is, especially this one. And it's not in a funny place. That means that whenever we drag it out of the the, the browser into the editor it it doesn't know where yeah it aligns kind of halfway in the building and it becomes increasingly harder to realign it the more complex your building becomes so now that we just started we made it a blueprint uh we're going to realign the zero point to um, in my case the back left corner bottom back left corner which makes the most sense for now for me um, so this is our new um, blueprint, and uh, we can right away uh, re, um, reparent this to a vertically resizable building. And uh, we're not going to <coughs> run its construction script yet, it doesn't have anything in there, but we're going to move our building to zero, 00, and that's basically by looking at the corner you want to have at zero, 00, you copy that. And you paste that in the location, and then you negate those numbers. You remove the minus, and the minus, and the minus, and we say to go five. Let's make it resizable. We're going to have to divide these. We're going. We go to the scene, add few scenes components, which we're going to call a roof midsection and um, <coughs> a base and then we go to the construction script and say construct building and we pass on the roof the midsection and the base so it has one of your uh, go back to the viewport and it has a thing called edit mode and when it's in edit mode it's easier to manipulate because um, it basically, when you look at the construction script, it bypasses uh, everything. In edit mode, when it's true, it just doesn't do anything, the whole blueprint. Now we have to move those parts to. I know that, I know by experience that we're going to repeat this and this floor, and let's just do it. When I talk, I have a hard time focusing. So that's why making tutorials is an art. 
which I always underestimated a little bit. This looks like we're lucky and we can start at the base or maybe even at the roof. Yeah, we can. So basically all we have to do is select all the meshes on the roof. And you see that some non-roof meshes got selected as well. I was lucky with how my uh, components are ordered. Okay, so we done a roof, we can probably hide the roof just to see. If we didn't miss a bit, we didn't. So then we grab the midsection, close the roof. This looks like we grabbed a big chunk of the midsection already. Make it hidden. And, uh, well, that was a good one. Uh, I can move it all to the midsection and make it hidden. And I think I did not miss a bit, which is great. So now that we have, have it all done, we can unhide it. It always looks weird. And we just can grab these cold shell root and uh, move it into the base. Hit save, compile. And you see where we are. If we remove the edit mode, a building did something. Hey. And But it didn't repeat too often. And I know where it comes from. It's because it also, see, you can see that section height this one needs to be more than 800 let's make it first 850 you see now that's too much and i think it was like 805 to be exactly precise for these meshes and tada our building is now vertically resizable you can go from zero to 25 through sliders and all the way to i think a thousand and take some time isn't there um that's it for now um in the next part Part two, I'm going to show you how to make that building resizable also in this direction. Um, thank you very much for watching.